Hello friends, today I am going to talk about Agile based planning poker for beginners. I will discuss about these uh, Kanban, uh, story time estimation, prioritization and story size. As you can see, usually uh, the companies, they have such kind of cards. Okay, And then even you can see Microsoft, they are also using these kind of cards for certain projects. So how are they used? We will see these things. They are uh, numbered cards. Okay, so how we use them, we will see them. Uh, in the beginning, first of all, we need to have a user story, first of all. I hope you are familiar with user story. Okay, uh, it looks like this on a sticky note or a post-it note. Okay, or you can write on a piece of paper. Okay, like this. We have a feature one publish trainings let's say we want to develop a module publish training okay and what do we want to do we need to have uh, these three components who and what and why this is a story because this is how a user tells us he is going to use the system in this way so uh, who as a manager what i want to publish trainings why? In order to make them available to the customer. Okay. So I hope you are familiar with this kind of story cards. Okay. Big stories are called epic, by the way. So we say that uh, at this moment we have these kind of user stories. We have several user stories, for example. And now it's time to know how much time it will take to develop. Okay. And what is the priority of this story? And what is the complexity of this story? So these three things we will see. First of all, we need to have a Kanban board, okay, where we will uh, play this uh, poker. As you can see, we need to have cards. We should have numbers written on them, usually in Fibonacci series. One, two, no, <coughs> Uh, and so on okay and we need to have a storyboard like this okay and people go there on the storyboard this is you can also call we Kanban board okay. uh, because it's not clear so I'll show you a clear picture this is the Kanban board so we can have multiple columns here okay on the whiteboard and we have sticky notes on the whiteboard, we create these kind of columns, like new story will come here on this part. Then we can analyze that. We see that it's under development, story is under testing, and finally, it's deployed. So these things, these columns can vary. Many people write in a different way, okay? But I'm showing another way, like this, okay? And so all these stories in this column, new story, all these stories are here. Now we need to see how we are going to um, process these stories. For example, this story on the top and this story at the bottom. So how come this is on the top and this is at the bottom? So basically, we uh, need to have uh, this thing priority higher priority story goes up and low, lower priority stories go goes down here okay uh, so we need to prioritize these stories okay also we need to know how long would this story take to develop okay what is the complexity of this story and so on so once everything is in order then we will move this story to the next phase we are we can do some more uh, analysis, okay? For example, who will do this story, okay? And once this analysis is done, we will move this sticker here, okay? And we know at this point who will do that story, what is the complexity of this story, okay? And so on. Then we will put this story to the development phase. Once it is under development, it is under doing. Once it's done, we'll put it in the done phase. 
okay from here tester will fetch it and tester will test it once it's done then we will put it on the deployment phase so first of all let's see the story time estimation using poker how should we do that so let's see we are three members like shown here okay and we need to have these cards and we need to hide these cards with us all right and these numbers two or four these are ours some people try to uh, estimate using hours some go in terms of points okay so it's up to you how do you want to do that so what is done is actually the process starts with like this product owner reviews the first story the team discusses the story these three people each member privately writes down the time duration to complete the story in hours like it might take one hour uh, you say that another person says thinks that two hours another says three hours like that or two hours two hours or four hours so we don't discuss the numbers okay we hide the numbers this is my private estimation i even don't show my card which card i picked okay if you don't have these kind of cards so you can get these small paper notes and write down your number on that okay and you will hide those cards from others so the facilitator one of you says like one two three show and each team member shows the card to the team by placing it on his forehead or just show it okay so difference in time estimation is discussed and agreement is reached so, okay for example these two says two two and he picks four hours so uh, although majority is authority in this case usually Okay, because each people has if these two people have picked up two they have some reason to do that to pick pick that and okay so but still discussion is still welcome this person with four he can ask them please explain to me how come you can say it's it, we can develop it in two hours so the other parties these two people okay they could say that okay we have done this before we know how to do that so uh, we think it's not that complex so let's put it at two okay like that and we could put it like uh, in three if we want it's up to us the agreement should be there okay all right the facilitator writes the final agreed value of r on a new card and stick it on the kanban board like i showed you before finally product owner decides whether to accept this estimate time or not okay uh, because product owner is uh, in contact with customer closely of course an agile team is also in contact with customer if you are uh, practicing xp also the customer should be on site so product owner can also talk to the customer okay see we thought uh, maybe it it was in uh, one hour but now the team says in two hours so we need to accept the team decision it depends then negotiation can still go on so who will do this story actually the team will decide based on the expertise experience so they will decide okay for example if you have done login so you will say okay log in i will do it because i have done it before log out another person say i will do it because i have done that before and so on well next one is t-shirt size based estimation uh, in this one what we do is we assume that uh, a story is there then we need to estimate that what is its size is this small medium okay small medium large or excel extra large huh? so in this case we might also set some numbers 1 2 3 okay here so the team usually will write small but they can also be precise in terms of this let's say we have six members in the team 
So they estimate two member states size is one, another two say three and two and another also say one and so on. Okay. And another story is estimated like this, another is like this. People are, uh, so the team is giving the numbers, they are suggesting the numbers, is the same like planning poker, one, two, three, five, eight, or whatever you want, the numbers. Okay, it's really up to your own experience. So once it is done, it is possible, uh, we can also, uh, uh, you know, the refer to the pre old story estimation that we did before. Okay, maybe kind of similar stories. So, for example, login. Okay, for login, we might have already done that before. So, we have the, that record, maybe a picture or whatever. But we get new one to know our correct estimation that are we doing it correct or not. Okay, so if we don't want to do the new estimation, we can go for the old estimation because we have done that in previous project and so on. All right, so in this case, I have seen a company where they have also created an Excel sheet like this kind of table where they, they have story numbers and story itself, then they put the size, okay. You might create another column here, and here you can write that size number that we have seen before. Okay, size numbering, uh, like small mean what? From one to three, so let's say two, okay, and so on. Next one is a story prioritization. Uh, the process remains same. We have cards hidden everybody has hidden cards. So product owner reviews the first story and team discusses the story. Each number privately writes down the priority to complete the story. Okay, from one to three, one, one two, three, four, five, and so on, and hide it from others. It is possible also the priority might come from the customer or from product owner. Okay, but if they have not given it, so we can prioritize in our way, like we are doing in this way, okay? So the same thing, facilitator will show one, two, three, and they will show it. Difference in estimation is discussed and agreement is reached. So um, story is high, medium, or low priority, we put it on the Kanban board. So this one, two, three, four, five, actually these are the priority. We say one means the lowest priority, five means highest priority, okay? Finally, we show it to the uh, product owner, okay? That's all, guys, this is it. Thank you very much. If you have any question, you can please ask.